Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and we are here with another list and another guide how to play with your amulets and what units you should play with each of them. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it will be helpful for you guys and hopefully you guys like it and let's jump into it. Hey you! Yes you! Do you still buy things directly in the game client? Come on, you know it's much better to purchase on the market. It's so simple, you just go into the Russia official market or you can just click in the link in the description. Choose any item you want and after that if you want to support me you can use my creator code MANTI and enter any message you want to me. You have plenty of payment methods there as well. That's one of the best ways to become even better player than you are right now. For all those who support me, big thanks guys and stay awesome. Alright, so let's begin with the newest amulet, Amulet of Swiftness. I think uh, a lot of units uh, started benefiting from this amulet a lot and can be played a lot. Uh, especially with, uh, I think, Fortuna, with Zeus, those units really benefit from this amulet. Uh, first unit is Bart, but in my opinion, Bart Zeus got really buffed uh, from this uh, release of Amulet of Swiftness. Just because uh, if you get to max max merges of your amulet, it really gives you a lot uh, on your board. You don't have to worry about uh, amulet of growth placements. Um, yeah, and of course amulet of growth got a little bit of nerf. Uh, so yeah, it's really good for Bart in my opinion. It's the best amulet for Bart. Um, next we have Blade Dancer, I think Blade Dancer, if you play it in any variation, I think it gives you the most, just because you always play 7 Blade Dancers, uh, so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, Amulet of Growth placements, plus uh, every 7 of the Blade Dancers will, get, will receive some uh, bonus uh, percentage damage from your Amulet, and you don't have to rely on only 4. Uh, Sorry, not four, three. Three uh, your, of your uh, amulets of growth tiles. Um, so yeah, that's that. Same goes for Bruiser, in my opinion. Same same thing for Blade Dancer, Bruiser, uh, Inquisitor. Uh, same goes for Demon Hunter, Tesla, Spirit Master. Pretty much the same uh, thing, just like I said and explained with Blade Dancer. Um, so what we have left in Amulet of Swiftness is Corsair. I think Corsair can be played, of course, with uh, Amulet of Swiftness. Uh, but is Corsair really playable? Uh, no, uh, sadly it's, it is not. Uh, but if you really want to play Corsair, it can be played with Amulet of Swiftness, in my opinion. Uh, next we have Genie. Genie right now, uh, Genie Sultan is specifically played with Amulet of Swiftness just because you play quite a lot of Genies. You play two Sultans plus you play, uh, let me count it real quick, you play three on left side, three on right side, uh, one on the down or up. And uh, so you have seven and one in the corner, so you have eight. Basically you play with eight Genies. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a normal thing to go for Amulet of Swiftness in this deck. Uh, next we have Inquisitor. Uh, I think only Inquisitor Light can be played with Amulet of Swiftness. Uh, just because uh, yeah, Dark Inquisitor really benefits from the double tiles. Um, so yeah, that's my reasoning. And next we have Banshee. Banshee, I think, if you want to play Banshee Coven, specifically speaking, uh, you can play it with Amulet of Swiftness. In my opinion, Banshee Solitude is, uh, wouldn't be the greatest just because you play only three of those Banshees. Uh, so I would much rather prefer it to play with Amulet of Growth. Uh, but if you want to play Amulet of Swiftness, then I would play with, um, uh, with of course, Banshee Coven uh, with six or seven of those Banshees, of course. Uh, C-Doc as a DPS unit, um, Maybe play with Fortuna or Zeus, you can play it with Amulet of Swiftness, of course. Is it the greatest deck? Not, but you can play it with Amulet of Swiftness. And same goes with uh, Cultist. If you really don't want to depend on your luck, if you get any Amulet uh, tiles or hero tiles in the middle, you can play Amulet of Swiftness and all, of your, uh, all three of your Harbringers will receive uh, some damage bonus from your Amulet of Swiftness. Next, we have Amulet of Growth. Pretty standard, we, we all know that, we, we just 
lived with that uh, for the longest time. Uh, right now, with each wave, each boss in the death wave, it uh, goes down by 2% and you have to merge back on it again. Uh, so basically, one of your four tiles, if you have legendary amulet of growth, is all, it always has to be empty basically because you will run out of damage from your amulet. Um, yeah, amulet of growth uh, can be played with Bard. It is worse version in my opinion, unless you can really keep up your stacks on the max. Uh, it's really risky because you can get stuck, and and you will just uh, your, your damage will drop out. Uh, next we have Banshee Banshee Solitude. Like I said previously, uh, it, it is, the, I think, the best option for Banshee Solitude just because you play three Banshees. Uh, so, normally, three Banshees, three Amulet Stacks, uh, Amulet of Growth for Stacks, and one for stacking your Amulets. Pretty simple uh, strategy. Uh, you can play um, Blade Dancer, Bruiser uh, with Amulet of Growth. I wouldn't say it's the best option, but if you don't have Amulet of Swiftness, sure, you can play both of these units as well. Corsair, the same thing with Amulet of Swiftness. Uh, it can be played. It's not the best unit currently, uh, especially that it doesn't have talents. So and that's that. Uh, Dark Inquisitor. We had Light Inquisitor in Swiftness. We have Dark Inquisitor in Grove, just because, like I said, it really benefits from double tiles, which is a hero tile and amulet tile. A uh, pretty simple strategy. Um, so yeah. Uh, next we have Genie. Uh, I think Genie can be played as Ifrit uh, with Amulet of Growth with pretty much every every hero you want. Uh, just because you constantly merge with your Genie deck, and uh, so it's just natural that you are gonna merge on your Amulet tile. And uh, next we have Cultist. Like I said, in the Amulet of Swiftness with Cultist. Uh, here, uh, if you want and you feel lucky, you, you feel like you're gonna get some of your tiles in the middle for three Harbringers, sure, it is really good. Um, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter with Mermaid should be played with Amulet of Grove. Uh, other than that, I think it is better to play Amulet of Swiftness just because you need a lot of your, of your Demon Hunters on your board. Uh, at the end to just be able to get those 40 stacks of Demon Hunters. Uh, Amulet uh, of Growth on Monk, I think it's the same thing for uh, as for uh, Dark Inquisitor. Uh, just benefits a lot, like the, the most uh, out of those units uh, from double ties in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I have to talk about it much. Next, we have Riding Hood. Riding Hood, due to the fact that it can eat uh, the same merge rank of or lower uh, any unit on your board except its own. And so it is just normal to play Amulet of Growth uh, because you will never get stuck on your board. Uh, next, we have Spirit Master. I think you can play Spirit Master um, with Amulet of Growth, but it is. It just won't be that great, in my opinion. Sure, you have your scrapper to merge on your your um, amulet, but again, if you don't have amulets of swiftness uh, because you don't want to invest in that, you have amulet of growth ready. You can play it, sure, but you will have to keep your, your eye on your amulet stacks. Uh, Sword DPS, I think it's the same for as for Inquisitor and Monk. You really want to have those double tiles to. Uh, increase your damage from your um, ancient swords. Um, next, we have Trent. I think Trent is played uh, only with Amulet of Growth due to the fact that it will never be stuck. Uh, you will never get stuck on your board with Trent just because of the ability on Trent. Um, so it's just natural to go for uh, Amulet of Growth for more damage, uh, especially because you play always 5, 6, or even 7 Trents. I saw people play. Um, so yeah. Not the best amulet, I think, for Trent. And uh, Tesla, Tesla, of course, the same as for Blade Dancer or Bruiser, can be played with Amulet of Growth, uh, but it is not the best, in my opinion. Next, we have Robot. Uh, if you really want to play Robot, I would recommend playing it with Amulet of Growth or Amulet of Weakness, uh, like you can already tell. Uh, and Sidok, Sidok as a merge heavy. Um, 
merge deck as toxic or dps sure you can play it with amulet of growth um uh, yeah i think it's uh, i can fairly say that it is the best amulet to play with, play with uh cdoc it's not amulet of growth as for other toxic units i think the uh it is not amulet of weakness as for other uh, toxic units but it is amulet of growth just because you want to uh basically live for uh, one or even two more waves uh, to suffocate to try to suffocate your opponent uh, all right amulet of weakness like i said you can play it with cdoc uh, but it is not the best amulet of cdoc for cdoc uh, it is much better for Minotaur, uh, Boreas and uh, Robot. Uh, Robot is the worst out of these three, of course. Uh, the reason is that uh, those three benefits the most out of suffocating your opponent. So Amulet of Weakness, especially being legendary, have four tiles of weakness on your op op opponent's bo bo board. Sorry. Uh, so it's just natural uh, to go for Amulet of Weakness. They don't benefit uh, out of uh, other uh, amulets. So that's that. And of course Meteor. Meteor doesn't require you to, to have uh, damage tiles. Uh, so it's natural because you are left with Amulet of Weakness basically. And uh, <laughs> Amulet of Magic. Let me just say it. If you want to play this game correctly... In any way, don't play Amulet of Magic. There is one exception. If you want to play Inquisitor Clock. And you don't want to rely on your double tiles. And you want to build your uh, board ASAP. There is a strategy to play it with Amulet of Magic. But is it the best? I uh, wouldn't say. Maybe on lower trophies, lower crit. Uh, maybe even below mid-range crit, sure, it can work, it is not the greatest, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it was just an idea th thrown at me uh, that it can be played. Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't recommend going for am Amulet of Magic. If you have the resources, go for any other Amulet and you will be fine. Uh, much, much more fine than with Amulet of Magic, basically. All right, uh, so that's it basically for amulets. Hopefully uh, it gave you some insight on which amulet should be played with each unit. And hopefully it will, it was helpful for you guys. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below if you agree, if you disagree. And I respond to every comment, I react to every comment. And as always, see you guys in the next video. Hey there. Thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.